Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. So today we'll be discussing negative buoyancy in fish. So we have a sister video to this talking about floating goldfish. So this is a fish with positive buoyancy stuck at the top. We're now talking about negative fish stuck at the bottom. Um, can happen in many, many different species. Unfortunately, fancy goldfish, they tick all the boxes on this. Um, usually there's two main causes for this. So again, with buoyancy in fish, uh, most fish, they have an air-filled swim bladder that lives pretty much in the central body, right on the top of their salomic cavity, right under their vertebral column. And this is responsible for, basically it acts as a buoyancy compensation device for any of you divers out there. And this will keep the fish at neutral buoyancy. It's how they're able to glide effortlessly through the water, humans float or sink like a rock. We don't have swim bladders. We do have intestines though, kind of, kind of works like that. Um, anyway. <laughs> So a fish with negative buoyancy essentially means that their swim bladder isn't able to inflate enough to bring the fish up. And usually this is either a congenital issue, so something that they are born with. That Again, this is where most fancy goldfish run into issues. Um, or it is likely a tumor that is a space occupying mass pushing on the swim bladder from the inside. Um, we see this a lot with koi with gonadal sarcomas. Um, essentially, when you have a fish's salomic cavity, it has all these other organs in there. And with the gonadal sarcomas, it's um, uh, irregular replication of what we suspect is ovarian tissue that replicates and replicates and a little tiny mass just swells and swells and swells and swells and kind of pushes everything in that salomic chamber up against the walls. And that usually includes the swim bladder as well. Um, everything's fairly mobile, so if there's room, that swim bladder is going to make a break for it. And it can, you know, settle on the side, settle on the, the front of the fish. Um, and again, once there's not enough air, the fish is just going to start to sink. So, unfortunately, with this, and if, if it's too tumor, we catch it early enough, we can get in there take it out. Not a problem. We have a separate video. You can watch the whole procedure being done. Super cute. Really gooey. Um, maybe not cute cute for me. Uh, and then with the fancy goldfish, again, just given their anatomy, most goldfish have two chambers of swim bladders. But, you know, you have a little hunched body, you got a round body and little dumb fins. Um, what used to be two swim bladder chambers is now one. And sometimes it's just not enough. And there's no matter what you can do to make that fish be more positively buoyant. Well, I hear everybody saying, what about those cute little wheelchair videos for the fish? Um, yes, cute, sure, fine. Um, anything that's being externally strapped to a fish is going to erode the mucus layer, cause an ulcer, and cause that fish to die from a bacterial infection. So if we have a fancy goldfish that is negatively buoyant, we can try a temporary float. So this is done by a veterinarian who knows what the hell they're doing with anatomy and surgical tools. Um, essentially, a temporary float on a fish will be able to have them swim to the surface. They can do that little gulp of air that all goldfish like to do. Um, suck in a little bit of air, maybe inflate that swim bladder a little bit more. Maybe, if there's room. These usually, I give them a 50-50 chance of actually working. And it might only be a temporary fix. Um, we do have plenty of clients that have negatively buoyant fish, and that's just the way they're going to be. Um, if they're able to scoot around a little bit and not be completely sitting on the bottom, um, that's usually better. We recommend that they either have a flat bottom, so bare bottom tank, or you can have nice little glass stones. Um, these are just a lot easier to keep clean than sand and gravel. A lot of bacteria, again, contact ulcerations from being stuck on the bottom are not fun, essentially the same as bed sores. Uh, recommend having a few decor items in there. Fish can kind of like lean against and prop themselves upright. Fish don't like being on their sides or upside down. So having, you know, something to hang out against, always good. Uh, for those of you who have seen our video on lemon, the ranchu goldfish, this is pretty much her situation. Uh, negatively buoyant for life. What are, you, what are you gonna do? Some fish just can't swim as well. So again, if you are concerned about a negatively buoyant goldfish, number one, check your water chemistry. Number two, check your diet, and then call your veterinarian. Um, really the best thing you can do, again, strapping your goldfish to one of those cute little wheelchairs uh, causes ulcerations, septicemia, and death. So please don't do that. Please call your veterinarian. <laughs> 
So hopefully we've answered some of your questions and you learned a little bit about negative buoyancy in fish. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about fish or fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family. Thank you.